My DeLonghi Perfect is back on the bench again. The uh, coffee strength button is stuck, and it's stuck in not a good place. It's stuck on extra mild. Are you crazy? So no, I'm not crazy. So I'm gonna open this thing up. Okay, so these two screws need to be removed and then the top slides up to reveal the innards. With the back off, then that reveals these four screws that can all be removed. And then each side slides to the back to be removed. So once that's done, then I want this upper part to uh, slide forward. So I need to remove these two screws on this side and these two on the other side. And once that's done, this piece just slides forward, but uh, do be careful because it's still got that ribbon cable attached and you don't want to stress that. So this part is really simple. Just remove these uh, four screws and then uh, pull the surrounding frame away. Okay, and then this back part just lifts off and now you can see the PCB and there are four more screws. Okay, with those four screws out, uh, then you can just lift the fascia piece off. And then to get to the button, you just need to lift this little ring gear piece off. It's not keyed or anything, so you can just pull it off. So this is the button that I have to remove. And as I pulled it off, I could see that there were several pieces that had broken, actually four. So the button has four of these little tabs, and those are supposed to connect to these arms that are connected to sort of the body of this whole unit. And here's a better shot that really shows how broken those arms are. They're just uh, they've fractured. So the whole point of that button is to push down these two uh, physical buttons on the PCB. I don't know why there are two exactly, but anyway, there they are. And, and of course the way that it does it is the bottom of that uh, plastic button piece has these two posts on it and they touch those two buttons on the PCB. But, but since that uh, plastic button piece is, has broken free, the posts no longer align with the buttons on the PCB and so it's just not working. So I just, uh, here's the solution I came up with, which was to uh, find a washer, which uh, a fender washer, which fits over those two uh, buttons on the PCB and just sort of test it out, works fine. So now I'm just planning to glue that to the back of that pl plastic button piece. So I know what you're thinking, which is, isn't that washer gonna cause a short? But uh, in, in fact, the, uh, these transistors that are uh, in between the two buttons uh, stand pretty high off the PCB. And um, so the, if the washer tilts to one side, it just hits the body of the transistor and doesn't make contact with anything metal. So in order to glue that washer onto the back of this plastic piece, I just had to shear off those pins. So it's just a quick job with a hacksaw. And I just used contact cement uh, to adhere the plastic piece onto the washer. And I usually scuff up the material that I'm gonna glue just because it, it helps give the glue a little bit of a bite. Okay, with the contact cement sort of cured, then uh, you can just kind of press everything in place and uh, put it inside the unit. And one nice thing about the way this worked out is that ring gear fits around uh, this plastic button piece and sort of holds it upright. And after that, then everything pretty much just goes in the reverse. The fascia plate goes back on and is held in place uh, with those four screws. And then that backing plate goes on and then the whole thing fits back into the frame and then those four screws hold it all together. And then finally I can just test all the buttons to make sure that they click and are making good contact. And then that whole control frame just slides into place, gets attached with the four screws. And then the sides slide forward and then the back gets attached with these two screws. And then there's the moment of truth.